Hi there, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain how to install Boot Camp Windows 10 on a Mac device. So this Mac device I'm using is a MacBook Pro 2019 and I'm running Mac OS 10.15 Catalina. And what I'm gonna do is install Windows 10 on this computer. The first stage of the process is to visit this website, which I'm going to link in the description. This is the Windows 10 official Microsoft ISO file download location. So once we're on this page, we're going to select the edition and we're going to select the Windows 10 and we're going to hit confirm and we're going to choose our language and hit confirm. We will want to select the 64-bit download and we're going to save this file in our downloads folder. So once the Windows 10 ISO file is downloaded, what we're going to do next is open up the Boot Camp Assistant. So all you have to do is go into the search bar and type in Boot Camp Assistant and it'll be the first entry in the Applications section. So all we do here is press Continue and it's going to do a bit of maintenance in the background. So now that we've got to the next section, um, it's automatically found my ISO file in my downloads folder, but if you had it in a strange place, you could always choose where to locate it. And the next part is quite important, right, because it's extremely difficult to resize the Windows partition after we've done this. So what you want to do is resize um, based on how much space you think you'll need. So generally speaking, I would allocate 100 gigabytes to Windows if possible. Um, I have quite a large one terabyte solid state drive here. Um, this is because once you've allocated the Windows partition, in order to increase it, you basically have to wipe Windows and then reinstall it. So make sure you have enough space for whatever you need it for. So I'm gonna go just under 100, and then we're gonna click install here. So right now it's just going to do some downloads of the most recent um, drivers for Windows 10. So just let that continue. So once those files have downloaded, the Boot Camp Assistant will restart straight into the Windows installation. So what you're going to do is change your language and um, currency and keyboard input, and then we're just going to click Next. So at this stage, it's asking us for a product key. Now, you don't actually have to enter a product key in order to use Windows 10. You can actually use it indefinitely for now without using any product key at all. So let's just click here. I don't have a product key um, for now, and you can always enter it later as well. So what I tend to do is to use the home version because the Home version, if you do get a product key, it's actually much cheaper than the Pro version. So I'm just going to click on that, Windows 10 Home, and click Next. Let's agree to the license terms and press Next. So this is just going to do the installation process, and this will take a little bit of time, but um, we'll just have to be a, a bit patient. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. So as, at this stage, you can log into your Microsoft account. If you didn't actually want to create an online account for this Windows installation, um, all you have to do is not sign in or not to your Wi-Fi or not go online because then you have an offline account option. But here, I'm just gonna type in my Microsoft email account and my Microsoft password, and I'm gonna log into my account. Okay, great. So when the Windows finally boots in, 
we've got the bootcamp driver installer already popped up so make sure to follow this step otherwise we're going to miss out on some of the key software that's required to make the Apple hardware work with Windows. Okay, and now we're going to restart the computer. So, perfect. We are now in the standard Windows desktop and we can now use this Mac computer as if it was a standard Windows 10 computer. Um, so I just want to go over a couple of tips for using Windows on Bootcamp. So um, one of the main things you have to understand is how to boot into the Windows partition on the Mac. So I've turned this off and what I'm going to do is turn the power button and hold down the option key. So what happens is that when this computer boots up, you're going to be presented with a choice about whether to log into the standard Macintosh HD or the Windows partition here. So it's good to be able to choose this and that's based on holding the option key. So now I'm going to choose the Windows partition and get inside and use this software. So the other thing that's really handy is being able to use some of the drivers that were installed or that we saw at the end of the installation. And that comes under the taskbar under this section here. So if we just um, click on this and look at the control panel then we can see some settings which we might want to use so this allows us to choose which operating system to restart in but so that's an alternative to using the alt key uh, and also we want to do things like enable the f keys on the touch bar so that these become normal f keys and the other thing is the trackpad we want to be able to um, right click sometimes and we need to have uh, we've got tap to click here as an option that's normal on most windows computers um, and then what i'd like to have is the normal secondary click which is the the right click on the trackpad uh, and i don't like the two finger um, option there so that's why i normally disable that one so um, that's all determined in the boot camp control panel so anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and please check out my next tech video.